welcome to Old School Runescape Quest 14, The Knight's Sword, Episode 1. So apparently there's an update today and new quests. Oh yeah, I like how I start the video and... Uh, cave bugs, really? I yeah, start the video and immediately someone's... Like, t doing the dishes upstairs or something. Oh no, these skeletons don't care about me anymore. So I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit afraid of this quest. Just because I gotta, you know, walk by a bunch of, like, level 50s, so... I mean, I'm level 40, so I think, hope, I hope I'm ready for this. Hmm. I guess just in case something really bad happens. Oh, I have adamant boots now. So I need that, and then... Because I didn't actually buy an adamant cut shield yet. Any red berry pie. Two iron bars. Okay. Um, I think other than that, we're good, so... You're taking nothing but salmon, and let's go. After I do this pull. And should the Ring of Fortune be made available to free to play? It was rarely used on Mammoth's World, but could be used with the free players. <laughs> yes. Empty jugs and vows dropped in the Winter Roll and Blast Furnace areas vanish rather than appearing in the ground in the way of other click zones. Yes. Should be a visual indicator that the Hespori plane is fully grown at the Farming Guild? Sure. Um, should the amount of volcanic ash mine from each ash increase by an extra 1? 50 mine levels are above the requirement 22, so at 37 you receive 2 volcanic ash? Sure. Should Wyvern Sun of Island drop volcanic ash as an uncommon drop? This would be 100 on average for ancient miners, 40 on average for long tailed spinning talent. Sure. You can possibly fill uh, Greek Colors can using sand and water sources. The can is raw from the Tith Farming Main Game, which holds up to 1,000. Should the water currently requires 20 points to be filled from empty? Sure. Should sandstone be used uh, to in place of buckets of sand? Let's see what we may be using to play soda ash when player casts. Lunar spell, super glass make. Okay, mm, sure. Should the magic uh, skill guide. Sure. Should an unfinished torso of Oz be able to use and place a clean torso when you making super combat potions? Numpty times can create from the unfinished vials rarely created by players. Uh, made accidentally via Nero and Narada. Sure. Enchant jewelry spells once the relevant action is started be automated. I'm we'll only honoring for the item that was originally selected, so sapphire ring. We have other sapphire rings. Sure. Should splitting coconuts once the action be started to be automated? Sure, I guess. I don't know why you would want to. Pouring uh, coconut milk. You're filling water cans. And should creating Sam 207 once the action start to be automated? Sure. Hmm. It's a lot of green. Oh, and that's um, automatically set to auto, so. I'm not a. Th no, I'm one level below 31. So much for that. 
Do people still train at monks? Oh, I mean a level 5, yeah. He's just kicking him. Okay, thank goodness, you can... Because I forgot, this quest, you actually need someone. It's one of those stupid... Like, you need another... You need a friend to come and just talk to the guy to distract him. Oh great, I forgot you actually have to go all the way back to Varrock. Good, half this quest is going to be just walking between... Well, just this or the map. Big L. And here's the thing, I don't have any law ruins, so... I mean, getting to Varrock isn't gonna be that bad, I guess, because I can just, uh, go up the creek, but... Hmm. Even then, I need to waste an inventory spot on a hatchet, so... Oh, Squire, sir. Hello, I'm the squire to Sir Vivian. How's life as a squire? I mean, he's a good guy to work for, however, I'm in a spot of trouble today. I got and lost Sir Vivian's sword. Do you know where you lost it? Well, now I knew that, it wouldn't be lost, now would it? Well, do you have the vague area you lost it? No, it came from all the way from where I had it. The midget must have slipped from my pack during the trip, and you know what people are like these days. Oh, they all just picked it up and kept it for themselves. It's fairly abundant with swords. Yes, yeah, so you can get bronze swords anywhere, but this isn't any old sword. Yeah, the sword is a fairly heirloom. It's been passed on through Vivian's family for five years, generations. It was by the Humber Dwarves. Particularly skilled Trevor Dwarven Smith. I doubt anyone can make it in the style they do. So, will these dwarves make another one? I'm not 100% sure the Gondola tribe exists anymore. I should think well, though. House Iberian Varrock will know. He's done a lot of research on the races of Gilinor. Well, you could try and track down the Gondola dwarves for me. I've got so much work to do. Alright, I'll give it to do. I'll give it a go. Pretty much as I say, the best place to start should be with Zoraldo. And now we walk all the way back. Yeah, so X marks the spot is now a new quest. Let's see, is there anything else? Okay, so apparently there's now a pub in Lumbridge. No anvil yet, but... There's a pub, alright.
Yeah, sure, we'll just go straight through here. Okay, so cool. So, Architectural Alliance? Uh, so you no longer lose favor in houses in Coreland. If you, you know, you don't actually have to have complete Architectural Alliance. I don't know, I don't have to go- I don't think I have to go all the way back to Reldo again. Sure hope not. <laughs> and there should be- uh, Mudskiver Point is south of Port Serum, not... Not Remington. I always get those two confused. For some reason. I mean, I used to, not so much anymore, although I don't really have a point to go to either of those nowadays. I guess not yet, I don't have to deal with the damn ancient wyverns yet. So basically, new quest, arc X marks a spot. Um, there's some stuff with a hydra. Stuff like that, and uh, protections from poison and dragon fire for certain enemies. And then pest controls, you can see kill counts, and um, whatever the hell, the serpentine helmet thing, which I guess makes you immune to poison or something. It's like uh, a little better now. Uh, I forget you exist. You, uh, his mini quest, that's the thing that doesn't exist yet. Oh, stranger. Uh, what do you know about the Encomda Dwarves? And come the dwarves, you say? Ah, oh, yes. For many hundreds of years, they were the world's most skilled smiths. They used secret smithing knowledge passed down from generation to generation. Much about a century ago, the once thriving race was wiped out during the barbarian invasions of that time. So many in Kamlo left it all. A few of them survived, but with the bulk of the population destroyed, their numbers have dwindled even further. I remember a couple living in Zgarni near the cliffs in the Zgarni Southern Peninsula, but they do tend to keep to themselves. Hey, I tend not to tell people that there's a sense in the Kamna, which is why people think the tribe is extinct. Could try taking them some redberry pie. They really like redberry pie. Good to know. And yeah, you have to apparently talk to them. Oh yeah, I forgot I have uh, the run energy boost. Oh. <laughs> Forget it's but it's always like a week between sessions. <laughs> and already I need to use both of them. That's probably only gonna get me um to drainer, honestly. Again, how they're allowed to continue to exist here, I'll never know. Well, okay, I mean, now, uh, normally it doesn't make any sense, but now it does make at least a kind of amount of sense that Lady Kelly would just uh, tell them to attack me. Eh, I guess also the prince, so. It's just annoying when you're level 3 and you walk on by to Draenor, and then you get spiked to death, you know?
Well, we're almost there, and I gotta pass by a church anyway, so... I mean, I think I, I managed to do this in, in classic, I think. But, you know, just in... Mythal armor. And I don't plan on attacking anything. Alright. Oh, there you go. Hey, are you an incumbent dwarf? Maybe, who wants to know? You like some redberry pie? You see Thurgo's eyes light up. I'd never say no to the third berry pie, they're great stuff. I eat the pie, throw pets his stomach. Well, I got like that was good pie, anyone who makes pie that, like that, yeah, it's gotta be alright. Any special sword? Not bring me my favorite food, I guess. Leave it a go, what sort of sword is it? Make a sword for one of the Fowler's knights. He had one that was passed down through five generations. His squire's lost it, so we need an identical one to replace it. That sword, oh, well, I didn't know exactly how it looked before I could make a new one. Lady and knights use their swords with unique designs according to their position. Could you bring me a picture or something? I'm gonna ask the squire and see if I can find one. Okay, so apparently there's like a safe spot next to the skeletal wyverns. So one of the am I able to like will they stop me from mining it? Or do I have the capability of mining it even if I'm getting, like, smashed by a giant club of ice, huh? I mean, I sure hope so. random events coming for me. It's a fear I have, apparently. Um, so yeah, if you want... So this is the only opportunity you have to get a Blurite sword. Um, there's not really a reason. Except, like, looking cool, I guess. But if you want to do that, you need, um, two iron bars. Uh, four iron bars, rather. There's people here, at least. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to talk to the squire first. Howdy. 
You get him with the sword. I don't come to Dwarf, but he needs a picture of the sword before he can make it. Picture, eh? Hmm, the only one I can think of is uh, in a small portrait. Serving his father, I think. Serving keeps in a cupboard in his room, I think. Try and get that then. He's the one to get you. He must have known what happened. Doesn't he end up knowing or something? Span, Fipple. He's like a GTO, I think. Oh, that's lucky. Huh. Wow, that was super lucky. Yeah, I believe in classic that was not possible. Cuz I'm fairly sure in classic um he has like the entirety of that room. I don't know. Okay, now that we have the portrait, we need to go give it to Thurgo. There we go. Now I think about it, wasn't this like the last quest that I did in Classic? I think I think it was Night Sword. You know the sad thing though is that um a year after a RuneScape Classic is shut down, oh it goes. I finally did it. Um I will still be uploading RuneScape Classic stuff. Cause I'm only on like episode ten or something like that. I mean it's because I'm uploading the quests as well, so that like slows down my upload of just a let's play itself but still and to think I was just too lazy I mean, it's the same thing with evolve evolve is actually done though well kind of I mean I've you can do it with NPCs so I'm still gonna do evolve but It's a shame too. It's all a shame. At least it's not like first assault because I was I played a little bit of first assault. Really like first assault. I was too lazy to make a video on first assault. It was back when you know I wasn't constantly making videos. So like two years ago. I believe I still have the files for first assault on my um, laptop though. Something else. About that sword. Huh. Find out about that sword next time, though, so if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. See ya!